was rising slowly. I had to give my bloodstream a chance to throw off excess oxygen and nitrogen gases. Otherwise, giant bubbles might form, causing air embolism or the bends. As I stopped for decompression, I had plenty of time to think, and my thoughts weren't too reassuring. There would be a lot to study before I made my final decision. I would have only two minutes of actual working time at the 300-foot level. Two minutes to enter the ship, reach the course recorder graph, detach it from its mountings, and get out. I was almost certain by now what my report to Radcliffe would say. Too dangerous. Right. That's what I was afraid of. Here. You think you can check his death pressure with the hot index? Oh, I might. Oh, Brian. Mm. Okay, now the hot index. Bet you saw you dropped in, huh? Mm-hmm. I loathe every minute of it. Hey, Drake. Uh, excuse me for interrupting, but I've got to talk to you. Not now, Larry. I'm meeting Radford at three. This well, that's just what I mean. I don't think you should meet him. Not until you've talked to Captain Stoll. Oh, who's he? Just the ex-captain of the Seacomber, that's all. The ship that rammed the Coral Queen? That ain't the way he puts it. You better talk to him. He's waiting outside. Okay, show me. Want to fix those sandwiches now, Jim? I'm Captain Leo Stowe. From what I've heard and been led to believe, you're supposed to be an honest man. I try to be. Then what are you doing working for World Shipping, a bunch of thieving scoundrels? I don't agree with you. World Shipping hired me to prove their integrity. They want the course recorder so they can bring it into court. So they can keep it out of court. They want that course recorder so they can destroy it. That's a serious charge, Captain Stowe. I think it's a more serious charge to accuse me of the wreck and the deaths of 218 people when the Coral Queen was at fault. Was it? All right. Don't believe me. You bring up that course recorder, and you'll see where the Coral Queen turned to starboard not to port like they said. Those men bribe and they fix and they make liars out of honest men. But that course recorder can't lie. You bring it up. We'll see who speaks the truth. Unfortunately, the course recorder can't be reached. But you've got to reach it. No. I surveyed the wreck. It's too dangerous. They told me you could do it. You alone. I wish I could. I really wish I could. Safe the the fact that it can't be reached. Do you by any chance know where Captain Leo Stoll spent part of yesterday afternoon? From... 212 to 241. No. Where? He was visiting at the beach home of Mr. Drake Andrews, as indeed was one Miss Tally. Well, what difference does that make? Stoll can't possibly pay Andrews anywhere near our fee. That is quite true. Besides, Andrews wouldn't pull a double cross like that. Your own files say he's an honest man. Mr. Andrews has scruples. Supposing Mr. Andrews now sympathizes with Captain Stoll, supposing he may wish to retrieve the recorder for humane rather than monetary considerations. Therefore, well, he, he can't do that. According to the report, he couldn't possibly... I don't like to be interrupted, Mr. Radcliffe. If Mr. Andrews will not make this dive for us, he must not make this dive for anyone else. Is that clear? I understand. One thing more. You may dismiss Miss Tally without payment. Of course. Mm -hmm. 